Welcome back to Waiting in Lab to see you. Today I want to talk to you about where do you spend your time? Or another way, another way to think about this is if somebody were to take a look at your life from the outside, who are they going to see? What are they going to see? Would they believe you're a Christian? Now, these are some tough questions because day in, day out, every, every moment of our lives, are we living those lives for Christ or are we just caught up in the aspect of life? I mean, for most people, it's you get up in the morning, you have your breakfast, you go to work, do your job, come home, have dinner, maybe watch a little television and go to bed. It's hard to see Christ in that listing unless you put him there. How do you spend your time? Where are your priorities? Now, I've talked about priorities in another, ep another episode. Is your time spent in ways that glorify God? Or do you go out on a week Friday nights and go hit the bars? Do you go out and go to the strip clubs? Maybe go to the porno shop, pick up some new DVDs, come home and watch them. Although if you do that, I guess you're old fashioned. Because today you just watch that on your computer. The point is, where do you spend your time? Now this is not any given, I don't know your answers. Nobody, I don't know any of you. Well, I don't know most of you. So I can't answer this for you. This is something you have to answer. And you do this by looking at how you spend your day. Is your day spent in ways that reflect positively towards the Lord? Or is your day spent in such a way that nobody would know you're a Christian? Now maybe you think that it's better not to be known as a Christian nowadays. Maybe it is. The thing is, if you deny Christ, he denies you. I'm not going to deny Christ. But does my life need a little bit of changing in order to reflect more of him? Yes. Do I think there's anybody whose life does not need to change a little bit to reflect God some more? No. I think we all need to start putting God a little bit more front and center in our lives. Now, I'm not talking about doing showy things just to get people's attention. But see how pious I am? I get up in the morning and I pray for two hours. I do, you know, if this is what you do, and somebody were to watch it and see it, okay. But if you're doing this just so that people can watch and see it, eh, you missed the point. Now, I know some of you are going to say that I'm sitting here telling you not to do anything other than what? Other than the Bible. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you can do lots of things. But if you do them in ways that reflect the glory of the Lord, they get better. Music. Okay, I am not one to tell you only listen to Christian music. I listen to a large variety of music. And yes, some of that is Christian music. The thing is, when I listen to the music, I actually listen to the words that are said. If the song talks about glorifying anything other than God, then it's not something I want to listen to. Now, is there examples I can give you? I'm sure if I sat down and thought about it, I could find examples of music that glorifies things that are not right. I mean, certain music we know has a tendency to refer to women in a very negative manner. Can't accept that. So you need to sit down and look at what you're doing. Is it in God's name or is it in the world's name? Yes, I know. Getting up, going, get, having breakfast, going to work, coming home, can't change certain facts of it but there's a di big difference between getting up saying your prayers reading your Bible having breakfast 
going to work, listening to Christian music, talking to others about Christ, spending your day in ways that are acceptable to talk about Christ, and coming home. Spending your evenings with your family, sharing some love, and reading the Bible, talking to your family about God, and how easy it or hard it was to that day to be a representative of Christ. That's different than just going through the motions. So think about it. Review your life and check on it. What would somebody on the outside say you are? For most of us, sadly, I don't think they would say we're Christians. Others, well, maybe they would. All comes down to what you're putting as your priority. Are you including Christ in your day? This is waiting in land to see asking you, please, put Christ in your day every day, all day. Have him be part of your life. I'm A.T. Martinez. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you did, please hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Bring it up in your discussion groups. Have your have your Bible study group answer that question to themselves. Talk about it. Discuss ways that you can include Christ in your life daily. Now, if you'd like to support this ministry in any way, you may support it by sending financial support through this channel. You can become a patron. You can go to our website, donate to us through the different methods that are listed there. You can want to spend a little bit of time and help us out in another manner, send me an email. I can be reached at www. Sorry, it's not www. I have a bad habit of doing that. You'll have to forgive me. You can reach me at waiting in Laodicea at gmail.com. And the website, as I started to say, incorrect at the incorrect time is www.waitinginlaodicea.weebly.com let us know what you think you all have a wonderful week and may god bless each and every one of you